think um, I'd like to ask you guys a question, if that's okay. Do, does, has anybody heard of the music called blues? Yeah. yeah. So what, what do you know about it? Tell me something about blues. <laughs> In English. In English. <laughs> um, I think it's um, it's um, slower music. It's what? It's slower music. Okay. Yes. Slow music. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, usually it's a very like it has a specific chord progression, and okay. usually the the lyrics are about like problems. About it's what problems. problems. Problems, okay. Okay. Troll. Um, anybody else? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start out by I, I played this instrument, the har the Mund harmonica. <laughs> and um, it's made near here in, in Trosingen. And um, but it became very popular in the United States and it was very available and um, We'll talk more about why it's such a good blues instrument after we play a little slow music for you. Yes. Yeah. That doesn't mean slow. Yeah. <laughs> called a boogie woogie okay that comes directly out of blues music and as you could hear you're absolutely right very specific chord changes three chord changes the first chord the fourth chord and the fifth chord so one four five we call it three chords sometimes it's just on the one sometimes it is a tonic blues where you just play one chord and um, but we want to start from the beginning does anybody know what other kind of music was born out of blues music? Any idea? Yeah. Pop. Pop music? Jazz. Jazz music? Come on, hat. <laughs> what's, 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 what's up? What's on your head? Hip hop. Hip hop, absolutely. A, a grand, grandson of the blues, absolutely. Uh, the blues 
really um, probably began primarily um, in, in, in Louisiana, in New Orleans. There was a place called Congo Square. Now, what, what kind of music is blues music? Who, 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 who are the heritage musicians? Who are the ones that, cre that created blues music? Slaves. Absolutely, that's exactly right. It's music that comes right out of, um, so it's African American <coughs> music. And um, all of us that um, play this music um, have learned it, you know, um, primary, oh, at least we have because we're mm -hmm. older, we, we learned to play this music from African American descendants of uh, American slaves. Now American slavery, I don't know how much of it you've studied, but um, it's one of the most violent and tragic and, um, uh, uh, and enduring long histories of, um, of, of any slave um, institution. So there's been slavery all over the world for centuries, uh, probably since uh, you know, recorded history. But in the United States, this went on for over 400 years. And so they, they kidnapped these folks from um, um, mostly Western Africa and brought them to um, the United States to um, raise and work the fields, and they were cotton fields primarily. And um, so um, it was a very brutal regime, and um, the blues came out of the work songs that, um, that the uh, slaves, the African workers, um, sang in the fields. So the, the, there was the drum, and there was the voice. And they outlawed the drum. The drum became verboten. And um, uh, because they could actually communicate with this was a language, the drums. So they they, they carried far, you know, the drums could be heard a long distance. Absolutely. And so um, so they outlawed that, except in a little area in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, it, right in, in New Orleans, called Congo Square. And Congo Square was a place where um, slaves were allowed to congregate one day a week, and they would uh, come down there and, um, and they, they were allowed to play drums. So um, uh, arguably, um, blues was born out of um, some of those sessions, and some of the first blues instruments, people think it was the guitar, it really was brass. And the brass instruments were, were probably the very first blue, blues instruments. And, and the and, piano, don't forget the piano. And the piano, yes, exactly. <laughs> and we have a great piano. We have a great piano player here who um, went to the United States um, and to Chicago. And we'll talk about why Chicago. But, um, uh, you know, 40 years ago and um, played with some of the great legends of Chicago blues. Um, um, mit zehn habe ich dann meine erste Gitarre bekommen und so Akustikgitarre gespielt. Und ich glaube, meine Liebe zu Blues entstand durch zwei Dinge. Einmal über das Instrument Gitarre spielen natürlich und äh, über die, die Plattensammlung. Also mein Vater hatte vielleicht so 50 LPs oder so und er hatte auch so ein paar Bluesplatten. John Mayle und... Und eines Abends kam er nach Hause äh, und hatte selber Albert King im Radio gehört. Das muss man sich mal vorstellen, das war irgendwann Anfang der 80er Jahre. Daraufhin ist er in, extra in Musikladen, in Schallplattenladen, diese schwarzen großen Dinger. Wusste man damals noch. Ja. Ist er da reingefahren und hat sich diese Albert King Platte gekauft, die er im Radio gehört hatte und brachte die mit nach Hause. Albert King, New Orleans Heat. Und äh, als ich das gehört habe, da war irgendwie, keine Ahnung, ich habe das von Anfang an geliebt. Also ich war irgendwie, weiß ich nicht, wie alt war ich da, vielleicht zwölf oder so. Ich, meine, ich weiß nicht, wie alt ihr seid. Ich 
Ich, ich habe selber eine Tochter, die ist elf. Älter als zwölf. Schwer, also ich kann mir schwer vorstellen, dass meine Tochter mit elf jetzt irgendwie mit einer Albert King Platte nach Hause kommt. <lacht> Papa, was ist das? Das ist unglaublich. Aber so war es bei mir. Das kann man sich nicht erklären. Also ja, da war die Sache noch im Radio gehört. Ja, das war noch mehr. Der Zugang zur Musik kam über das Radio, weil es gab ja kein Internet. Ja. Und da musste man wirklich durch die Plattenläden gehen und suchen, was man da fand. Ja, ich bin dann echt, ich bin echt als Teenager mit meinem Taschengeld in den Plattenladen gefahren, mit der Absicht, Bluesplatten zu kaufen. Ja, ich ich wusste gemacht. aber nicht, was ich kaufen soll. Ich kannte ja keine Namen. Ich war auch nicht von Leuten umgeben, die Blues gehört haben. Es gab kein Internet, es gab kein YouTube, es gab nichts. Man musste auf die Suche gehen. Ich bin, in, und tatsächlich bei uns, wir sind so ein 20.000 Einwohnerstädtchen, gab es einen Schallplattenladen, die hatten so 10, 20 plus dann. Und dann habe ich die so lange genervt, bis ich alle angehört habe. Und dann habe ich meine ersten Platten, die mir am besten gefielen, habe ich dann gekauft. Aber irgendwie Luther Allison Live war eine meiner ersten Platten. <Musik>